How you doing? My name is Rick Speck. You know, I'm going to start a little bit about telling a story about a young boy. Uh, this young man was angry, began to get suspended from school from a very young age, fourth grade, fifth grade, sixth grade, constantly fighting, just didn't know how to express himself. This young man was me. And as I grew up, I was in therapy And I remember sharing one of the deepest traumas I had experienced with my therapist. And I remember expressing to her that that I didn't want this information shared with my family. And the next time we met with my parents in a group setting, the therapist shared my deepest, darkest secret. Was never brought up again. I'm 50 years old. We've never really discussed it. To this day. And so as I became a part of this project, and I've watched these folks give these amazing stories and just strip themselves bare, and what I've come to understand today and from listening to other folks was what happened to me has defined me for most of my life. But when I was in prison, that I began to really dig down and relive my traumas. There was one core trauma that elevated all of them. And that was when I was 10 years old. I was sexually assaulted by somebody that was a friend of our family. But what I realized was that, number one, I had to forgive myself and that the things that happened to me throughout my life were not my fault. And I share this story so that these unresolved traumas Do not continue to affect your life the way it has affected mine, which resulted in 18 and a half years of incarceration. All trauma needs to be resolved, whether publicly or privately. Resolve it not for the person or the thing that caused it, but for yourself. Today I stand here a free man physically, mentally, and spiritually, and I thank you for listening to my story.